Welcome to my music studio. Would you like some tips on how to create an arrangement using a lead sheet? In this video, I'm going to show you how I mix and match three different left-hand patterns to create an arrangement that's effective and very comfortable. My name is Anne Crosby Godet, and I'm coming to you from Music Discoveries. In this video today, I'm going to show you how I mix and match three different patterns in the left hand to create a beautiful arrangement for a lead sheet. We'll be using my Christmas medley of Ding Dong Merrily on High with Deck the Halls. And you can go get that sheet music for free at my shop. I'll make sure that I post the, the link to that download down below in the description. Lead sheets are great to have in your repertoire because they're so flexible. You can easily adapt them to a larger harp like this or a small lap harp like the one over here. And it's easy to simplify them or dress them up depending on your level and the situation. I'm going to show you three left hand patterns and how to mix and match them to create an arrangement that sounds much harder than it really is. So let's get started. The first pattern that I'm going to use is widely known as a 1-5-8. So if your chord is, um, is a C chord, that means you find a C, count up one, so C will be one, then count up one, two, three, four, five, the fifth string is G, continue counting, six, seven, eight, so my eight is another C. This is a very common pattern on the harp, I'm sure you've played it before, and it sounds like this. Now the rhythm that I'm going to use for this particular situation will be one, two, three, four. Two quarter notes and a half note, like this. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to use that pattern in situations in my lead sheet where I need four beats and where my right hand is not using a dotted quarter note rhythm. So spots like this. The second pattern that I'll use is called a 1-3-5. So if my chord is C, I'll go find C. That's 1. 1, 2, 3 is E. 4, 5 is G. And so it sounds like that would also be known as a triad, a broken triad. The rhythm that I'll use for my particular arrangement will be 1 and 2, 3, Four. That's two eighth notes and a dotted half, like this. One and two, three, four. Now I'm going to apply that pattern anywhere that I need four beats and anywhere that my right hand rhythm is a dotted quarter note and eighth, like this. And here's how it would sound. Now the third pattern that I'm going to use is known as a 1-5, and I'm going to play the two strings at the same time, so I would call that blocked or solid. So if my chord is C, I'll put C on the bottom, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is G. Make sure when you get this, it would be an interval of a fifth. Be sure that you tuck your finger two down. Here, I'll show you this with my right hand. Finger two needs to just hang down gently. Be careful that it's not sticking up in the air like this. It needs to come down, hopefully close to the palm of your hand if possible. So I'm going to apply this pattern when I need two beats only. So I'll hold it for a two beat half note. One, two. And I'll apply that pattern in situations like this. Now that we have the three patterns and I see where I'm going to apply them, I'll play the whole arrangement of Ding Dong Merrily on High with Deck the Halls. You can go get the sheet music, remember, it's a free download. And, uh, and you can see how this sounds using my strategy of three tools for particular situations.
hope this helps get you started. If you like using lead sheets, why don't you let me know down in the comments below and also consider clicking the subscribe button so you can come back to my channel and check out other videos. Thank you.